On today's Maker Mashup Quick Tip, Arc Welder in Prusa Slicer and Simplify 3D. So on today's Maker Mashup, we have a user requested video. After our Arc Welder video that was extremely popular, and you can see a card for that at the top, we got a lot of questions about how to do the same installation of Arc Welder inside of Simplify 3D and inside of Prusa Slicer. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering how to do that exactly, and we'll also be downloading the command line version just to show the entire process start to finish. So with all that said, let's get to work. So here we are on former Lurker's GitHub page, and you can see here there's a number of different plugins available, including Octolapse and the Arc Welder Lib. In order to install the command line version, we're going to navigate to the Arc Welder Lib, and then from there, what we're going to work with are the precompiled binaries. These are the source code you could download but we're gonna skip ahead and move down to the installation. And if you click this here link, it will take you to the list of current releases. Now I'm going to be installing this on Windows, so I'm going to select the Windows 111 release, and I'm going to save this to a directory on my hard disk. In my particular case, I've created an opt arc welder folder for this demo, and then we're gonna save the file to there. Once we've saved that file, we're gonna go ahead and show it in the folder, and then from here we will unzip this to extract all the files. Once we have everything extracted, we're ready to move on to our next step. Uh, so what we're going to do to install this into Simplified 3D so it will run is we will want to create a separate profile here. You can see I've got a couple of different processes. You've probably got far more of this. Uh, and what we're going to start with is I'm just going to copy this point to profile by uh, hitting Control C and Control V on my keyboard. So once we've copied this here, I'll just double click this and it will bring up the settings for this profile. I'm gonna go in here and instead of the one, I'm gonna rename this to AW. So that way we know this is going to be our arc welder profile. All right, once we've got our profile renamed, we're gonna to go to the scripts tab and then under additional terminal commands for post-processing, we're gonna paste this in. And what this is doing is it's going to say to run arc welder once uh, the G-code processing has been completed and we've created our G-code output. And then it's gonna use the output file path for the file name to go ahead and create and modify the G-code file created by Simplify 3D. Uh, and then Arc Welder will modify that file. So we'll just click OK from here, and then we can do our prepare to print, and we can click OK. Now that we have the toolpath saved to disk, we're gonna go ahead and just open up the file here, and I just use Notepad++. The most important part here is to make sure that the first line of the file says it's been post-processed by Arc Welder. If you don't see that line up there, what it indicates is that you had something wrong with your configuration and Arc Welder did not run. But that's all there is to do to set this up for Simplify 3D, and then from there you can go ahead and process your file through your 3D printer and take advantage of Arc Welder in Simplify 3D. All right, so here we are in Prusa Slicer and the installation in Prusa Slicer for Arc Welder is even simpler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with an object. I've already got one loaded, the same one I used when we were using Simplify 3D. Once we go to print settings, all we have to do is go down to post processing scripts and enter the path and file name to Arc Welder. And this is where I installed it for Simplify 3D. So it works regardless, but this is the command line version that will be executed. And we need no parameters after this, just including this. And then to save this, what we're gonna do is we'll just click save up here. And then the profile that we have for Arc Welder, we will just use the same annotation here where we indicate the AW to indicate Arc Welder. So that gives us the ability to switch these settings depending on whether or not we want to run Arc Welder. Once we're done with that, then you can go back to the platter here and slice everything. 
And then once that is done slicing, you can export your G code. Uh, we'll go ahead and delete the test file from before and create a new one. And then once we've created that new file, we will do the same thing. We'll load this up in Notepad++. And as you can see in Notepad++, we have very similar information. You can see this is Prusa Slicer's output, but once again, post-process by Arc Welder, indicating that we have everything properly installed. So as you can see, getting Arc Welder working inside of Simplify 3D or inside of Prusa Slicer is really a pretty simple task. Just a matter of downloading the appropriate files. And then after we've got those files downloaded, just calling those executables from within the slicers. So I've been thinking about putting together a special video with Former Lurker where we can have a live Q&A interactive session and people can ask a lot of questions about Arc Welder as we had so many thousands of questions from the other Arc Welder video. So if you're interested in something like that and you would love to have an interactive Q&A session, uh, go down to the comments and let me know your thoughts on that and what sort of questions you have. And then from there, I can go ahead and work with Former Lurker to put together a Q&A session on the channel. So with that, it's gonna be the end of today's quick tip video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So with that, I'm going to say thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.